Hey guys, I am Liana, the owner of Wet Noses Pet Sitting, and I am here to talk to you today about how to go catnip indoors and pretty much everything you need to know about catnip and how to use it for your kitties or for your friends' kitties or whatever you want to do with it. I um, want to thank everybody who is watching the recording because we are live right now, uh, but if you are watching this, then you are probably watching the recording. So thanks for joining us and keeping an eye out. Um, so catnip, this is catnip. Uh, I'm here in Colorado. In Colorado, we have a very short growing season, a relatively short growing season. So I decided, I don't know, five months ago or so that I was going to grow catnip inside for my kitty and for any of our customers that wanted any catnip. So that's what I've been doing. And it's been pretty great. So first off, planting catnip. So if you can see it here, sorry about the bright window, but this is my indoor catnip plant here, which is crazy. So it started out, as a plant like this, I went to Petco, I believe, and I got a little, actually I got three little sprouted plants. If you stick with me to the end, I will tell you my funny story about my cat. But first I wanna get through all the stuff you need to know about catnip. So, um, went to Petco, got a little sprout, got three little plants, and I planted them in this giant pot here. Um, only one survived, and that has grown into this giant monster that you see behind me. Um, I have also trimmed this multiple times, so I will say that like a lot of pet people, I'm also a plant person, and I have a ton of plants. And this has been the easiest plant I have ever had to grow, <laughs> so this thing just keeps growing on, on its own without pretty much any help from me, other than a ton of water, it requires a lot of water. So I did plant it in a plant, um, in a big pot, the one thing to know is that it does like uh, a lot of water and a lot of sun. So I have mine in a south facing window, which is what I'd recommend. It definitely likes that, the bright sunlight. It's normally meant to be an outdoor plant, but of course here in Colorado, you can only grow through the summer and I wanted to grow all year round for my cat. So that's how we ended up with a potted catnip. So um, just water it frequently, put it in a south facing window and it will grow like this. Make sure your cats can't get to it and it will grow and grow and grow. For maintenance, or for trimming, what you wanna do is you do wanna trim it every now and then. This little piece just broke off. Um, and when you trim, you're just gonna cut it, clip it short, and if you clip the ends into, split the end, then it will actually split into two different things, two different leave sections, and it will make it much more thick, which is kind of what, if you can kind of see what has happened in the interior here, the plant's growing really thickly because I can't, I have trimmed it quite a bit. Um, I did wait for some of the leaves to get long before I did that, and now I do trim the large leaves because they otherwise start to die. So I trim them before they die, and then I dry them, which is the whole point of this in the first place, is to dry the plants. So once you get time for drying, so you've got some either big leaves or they've grown long stems and branches and you're ready to trim it because this thing grows like a monster, um, you're going to dry it. And you can do two things. You can either dry it like a normal herb. I've got an herb here, plant here. So you cut the stem off or cut, this is actually three stems or three branches. So you cut the three branches off, tie it together, and you can hang it just like to dry like any herb. So there's herb drying racks and then, but they actually recommend that you dry this in a cool, dark place. So I have mine hanging in my basement uh, in a nice drying area. This took about two weeks that this has been drying and it's pretty stiff. So what I'm gonna do after this is I'm going to break off all the individual leaves and I'm gonna put them in a container to save for my cat. Um, you don't want to actually crush them yet because you want to uh, wait until you actually want to give it to your cat to crush the leaves because they stay more fresh, better. They stay better. So you just want to make sure they're dried out all the way. The other thing you can do is you can actually, I've got it here, use a, um, a dehydrator. I have a little, I don't know, it was a cheap one. It's like $50 dehydrator. And you can do that for all sorts of things. You just use one tray, put it in there. It takes about 24 hours to dry. So you either dry it naturally by hanging takes a couple weeks, um, or you can dry it in a dehydrator for 24 hours. So it kind of depends upon your preference and what you want to do. Um, either way, it turns out really well. Uh, come the spring here, as soon as we are sure that we are past our last winter, or our last storm, since we're not sure yet here in Colorado, uh, I'm going to put it outdoors. And so I'm going to grow this one outdoors, and then I will also be planting a lot of, um, I've been rooting catnip here, rooting. Uh, for the last couple weeks and I'm going to be planting it outdoors along my house. So catnip is 
not only fun for cats, but it's also a natural pest deterrent. So it can be used both around your home or around chicken coops. Chicken coops are much more popular here in Colorado these days. So you can put it out by your chickens um, and keep, keep the pests away naturally without having to use any insecticides or pesticides. So that's pretty great. Plus it's nice and fun to have for your cat if you just want to grow it out in your yard. Again, it takes a lot of water, so it does need to be watered. I water this sucker every day to every other day, depending on how sunny it's been. So you really want to make sure that you get that water going. Um, and I don't see anybody having any questions, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but if you've stayed with me this whole time and you want to hear my quick funny story, um, so in the end you end up with catnip like this, which is fantastic. And you want to store it in a dry place. I don't think I said that. Store it in a dry, cool, uh, dark place so that it maintains its fragrancy very well. So, uh, my funny story. So my cat, uh, she's not, she's upstairs sleeping. She's old. She's probably she's 19 or 20 years old now. So she's upstairs taking her 23 hour nap a day. Um, she, we got this catnip. So, and originally, as I said, I got three. So they looked like this. Uh, and they're beautiful and I thought that's fantastic. So I potted them in my pot and it was late at night and I thought, well, the cat's probably gonna be asleep. There's no way this cat's gonna be bugging this catnip in the middle of the night, plus she's 19 or 20. So I just left it on the ground in this giant pot and thought there's no way she's gonna climb up in this pot. So, and I was wrong. Um, about midnight or 1 a.m. we heard screaming and yowling and, and everything in our house. And so my husband went down to check to see what it was. And it was our cat rolling around in this pot of catnip, happy as a clam, um, uh, a little catnip kitty high, and screaming at her own reflection in the glass because it was sitting in a very similar position to that right outside by our window. So um, she was so pleased with herself and had such a great time that evening. But after that, we, uh, I elevated it. So elevate your catnip so your cat can't get your catnip or you're gonna protect it by having some sort of net or put it somewhere your cat can't reach it because your cat will destroy it. The only reason my cat is not destroying it now is because she's 19 and she can't climb up this giant thing into a pot. So um, that's how I started out with three plants like this and ended up with only one because she killed two that evening. So, But it turns out I only needed one in order to create this giant massive plant like this, which was epic. So. Um, I don't see that anybody has any questions or anything, so I'm just going to call it there. But I encourage you to plant some catnip, and if you live here locally and you would like a catnip snippet to get your catnip plant started, just let us know um, at wetnosespetsitting.com. You can email us and or send us a message here on Facebook, um, and we can get you started with your catnip. I think all cats should have cat fresh catnip plants, and they are really, really easy to raise, so there's no reason for everybody to not have catnip plants in their house. Um, plus, they smell fantastic. They really do. It's too bad you can't have Facebook smells as of yet. But, so go ahead and t give it a shot. Let us know if you would like one, uh, and if you live further away, go to your Petco or PetSmart or any place locally that sells some catnip and get some catnip and start planting because it is great. And if you have nice year-round weather, then start planting year-round because you can have catnip all the time in your catnip. The cat will be so happy, so pleased with you if you let your cat out in the area that you have catnip. It would be so fantastic. Thank you all for joining me. Have a great, great rest of your day.